Hello, welcome to the English Easy Practice Course Conversations lesson. Now you will listen to some daily conversations in different places. You will learn new vocabulary and improve your listening and speaking skills in English. Let's get started. Hello. What can I help you with? I was involved in an accident. My car was just hit by another car, which didn't stop. You were involved in a hit and run accident. Yes, the other car hit my car and then kept driving, even though I waved for the driver to stop. I will need some more information, please. What did the other car look like? Please give me any details that you can remember. What was the color? What was the make and model of the car? How many doors did it have? It was a black four-door car with tinted windows. It looked new. I think it was an Audi because I saw four silver circles on it. Where and when did this take place? I can check the security cameras at that location. It was on the corner of Market Street and University. I was headed south on the right lane, and the other car cut me off to make a right turn from the center lane. I was on my way to work, and now I'm late. It happened nearly thirty minutes ago. Have you called to inform your boss of this incident? Yes, I did, and he said to stop here first. All right, I will need your personal information, please. Definitely, my name is Beth Tanner. T A N N E R, is that right? Yes, that is correct. What is your address? Nine eight one Lester Road, Georgia. What is the best telephone number to reach you at? Six six seven five four three eight seven nine one is my telephone number at work, and six six seven five four three six five one three is my cell phone number. Hello, are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. Thank you. Please take a look at this document for correctness. Sure, it's all correct. Nice. Please sign it here at the bottom, and you can expect a call from us as soon as we have any information regarding this case. What if I don't hear from you? You will. We will call you by the end of business today to either give you an update on this case or let you know what to expect next. Either way, you will hear from us. You've been most helpful. Thank you so much. Please have a great day. Good morning. Is this an emergency? How can I help you? Hi. Yes, I could use your help with my appointment. I'm on the schedule for 10 a.m. to see Dr. Owen. Yes, of course. Please print your name here on this sign-in form, and I will be with you shortly. Sally Red. Yes, that's me, Sally Red. Can I see your identification and insurance information, please? Sure. Here's my driver's license and insurance card. Thank you. I will process this and call you back up again soon. 
Sally Red. Here I am. Here are your cards. Please take a seat and the nurse will be here to assist you soon. Sally Red. Here I am. I am Nurse Violet and I'm here to take your blood pressure, height, and weight. Please come with me. You can take my weight because I really need to lose some. I'm only kidding. Thank you for seeing me so quickly. All right, Miss Red, we are finished. Please wait in this room for the doctor. May I use the restroom first? Yes, it is right over here, and your waiting room number is A2. Thank you. Hello, Ms. Red. I am Dr. Owen. Hello, doctor. Thank you for seeing me today. How have you felt since our last visit? Have you been taking the medicine that I prescribed you? I sure have, and I feel better. That's great. Let me do this checkup and my nurse will come back to see you again. Miss Red, the doctor says that you had a good visit today. He said that you can stop the medication from the last visit. That is wonderful news. He wants to see you again in one month for one final checkup. Definitely. I'll make an appointment on my way out. Would you like to schedule for the same time and day next month? Yes, I would. Your appointment is set. You will receive a reminder call one week prior. Please have a great rest of your day. Thank you, and you as well. See you next month. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Hello. Good afternoon. How can I help you? Good afternoon. I have some questions about your membership options here at the Sports Center. What questions do you have? I am happy to help you. First of all, what are the hours of operation for this location? I can pretty much say we are always open. Because our schedule is the best in town. We open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. till 10 p.m. Saturday's hours are from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. And on Sundays, we open at 9 a.m. and close at 2 p.m. The schedule sounds great. What are your busiest and slowest times? I like to know when I will have space to get my workout on. Weekdays we are generally busy in the morning, from 8 till 10, and then we get another rush in the afternoon from 5 till 7. Our slower times are either midday or in the evenings past 7 at night. Weekends are different because we experience different levels of volume. Thanks. How about physical training? Do you offer any one-on-one -on -one training in your weight room? We sure do. We have many trainers for you to choose from. You can see their schedules and credentials here on this form. Please see what availability and teaching style best meets your needs and we can arrange a session for you. This looks great. How about group classes? What offers do you have for those? We offer aerobics, spinning, yoga, and Zumba. We also have outdoor activities as well. Some of our trainers offer outdoor hiking trips and cycling in the mountains. <laughs> this place is amazing. I'm ready to get started. Wonderful. We have two different kinds of membership to choose from. One is from open till 4 p.m. in the afternoon and it costs $50 a month. 
The other is complete open access and it will be $70 a month. Which one of these best suits you? I will take the open access membership, please. That's great. What is your name, address, and phone number, please? My name is Charlie Rogers. My address is 32 Weber Street, Alabama. My phone number is 745-890-7342. Okay, now please smile. Your picture will be on your access card. Do I need to stand here? Yes. Where will I use my card to get in? You can scan it here and the door will open automatically. The card is active? Yes, it is. Welcome to our team here at the Sports Center. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Good morning, Kate. Morning. How are you holding up? I'm doing just fine. I think we'll find a middle ground with the manager. That's great. What was the problem again? Well, I mistyped the price of a product. What did the manager say? He told me that if I did it again, he would fire me. That's so harsh. Yes, but he was right. Instead of 500, I typed 50. The customers were so happy, I think. There was a big discount. They were. Our sales have skyrocketed. Well, every cloud has a silver lining. Yes, there's always good and bad. Yet the manager told me to up my game. Yes, you should put more effort and be careful. I agree. Hold on, I have to make a call. Hello, this is Kate. I'm calling to let you know that we are interested in your offer. That's great. Both companies will benefit from our collaboration. Yes, but our employers and co-workers need more information. That's okay. We'll make another presentation about our offer. You'll see all the advantages and disadvantages. That will be awesome. However, we also need to see your action plan. Okay, we'll keep you notified about it. Then let's schedule a meeting for next Monday. Okay, see you on Monday. I'm back. You were awesome. I see that you're getting better every day. Thank you. With the feedback I got, I tried to do better. I'm proud of you. You really made your own way. Yes, no one pulled strings for me. I worked hard. That's why you should be more careful with your work, again. Exactly. To compensate for my mistake, I will do market research. Will you find more effective strategies? Yes, we should make profits. You're right. I can help you with the target market. That sounds fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. Good morning. Good morning. What can I get for you today? I'd like some croissants. What are the fillings? We have croissants with five different fillings. Chocolate, strawberry, orange, vanilla, and blackberry. Which one would you want? Okay, chocolate and vanilla then. Anything else? Let me see. What is on top of this cheesecake? Raspberry or cranberry? The topping is raspberry. Great. I'll take one slice. And the bread smells perfect. Is it ready? Of course. This is a fresh batch. 
I popped this tray out of the oven five minutes ago. Perfect. Is it yeasted bread? Yes, it is. Would you like to try some? Here's a slice. Of course. That's very kind of you. This is a perk of being a permanent customer. This is a top seller. What is your secret? We don't really tell secrets. Oh, come on. You know I'm a regular customer. I think I deserve a tip. Fair enough. Our secret is in the water temperature and kneading step. Really? How come water temperature is important? If it's too hot, the yeast dies. If it is warm enough to touch, it is good for the yeast. And what about the kneading? You should knead for 10 minutes. It's very important. What? I'll lose weight if I knead for 10 minutes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll back you up with our pastry. That's for sure. So croissants filled with chocolate and vanilla, one slice of cheesecake, and this bread. Anything else? No, that's all. Okay, I'll pack them up for you. Thank you. How much is the total? In total, it is $8. Really? It is cheaper than I thought. Well, croissants on the house for the first time you buy them. This is why you're my favorite bakery. Here you are. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi, Sandy. Hello, Tom. What's up with you? Not much. I've been keeping busy with my studies. Professor Donald will be giving us his midterm exam right before the new year. Yep, you are so right about that. I need a good grade on that exam if I want to pass the semester. At least it's before the new year. I need to do well on it, too. Once the exam is complete and New Year's is here, would you like to go with me to see some fireworks? It is good timing. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Where should we go? The beach has a nice fireworks show, but the traffic is so bad in that area. There is another show scheduled at the park near our school, and it is close enough for us to go by foot. That sounds like a great idea, Tom. It will give us something to look forward to after our big test. I'm glad that you agree. What are your New Year's resolutions for this year? This year I have three resolutions. One, spend more time pleasure reading. Two, go for more brisk walks. Three, listen to more podcasts which educate and inspire. Wow. Those are amazing. Thanks. What are yours? I have a few as well. One, eat a bit healthier. Two, swim regularly. Three, spend more time with you. All right, I like them. I believe we can and will make that last one come true. Right after the exam, of course. Let's get through this exam with flying colors, and then we have some celebrating to do at the fireworks show. With flying colors. Complete success. If you do something such as pass an exam with flying colors, you do it very successfully. Yes, after we pass the exam with flying colors, we can go to see flying colors in the sky. I like the way you put it. It will be lovely. Thank you for the invite, Tom. Thank you for saying yes. You can practice English whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Yeah! 
After you finish the lesson, you will learn English vocabulary the easy way. You will practice English listening. And you will improve your English speaking skills fast. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. Hello. Hi, may I see your passport and booking reference? Sure thing. Here they are. Are you checking in any bags? Yes, I've got two. Please put your luggage on the conveyor belt. Okay, these are a bit heavy. Hold on, please. Okay. All done. I've put all my things on the scale. Sir, your belongings are overweight by 10 kilograms. The weight limit for the economy class is 23 kilograms. Yours is 33. What should I do? Put on some of my clothes? Leave the extra here? <laughs> You can pay for extra baggage allowance for sure. How much does it cost? Let me check. Your overweight baggage fee is $70. It is over my budget. You can transfer your items to your hand luggage if it's empty. A moment, please. Please put your bags back on the scales. Okay. Your overweight baggage fee is $33 now. Cash or credit card? I'll pay in cash. Here you are. Would you rather have a window or an aisle? A window seat, please. But I don't want to be by an emergency exit. Okay. What is my gate number? Your boarding gate is gate B21, and you're in seat 26A. Your plane is boarding at 1830. Here you are, your boarding pass and passport. Thank you. What should I do now? Please go through the security and find your gate. Good evening. Welcome on board. Thank you. Can I sit with my bag? Sir, please put your bag into the overhead compartment. Okay. May I undo my seatbelt now? Yes, you can unfasten your seatbelt. We'll start our dining service. Chicken or pasta? Pasta, please. Anything to drink with that? Only water, thanks. Hello, Mr. Scott. It is a pleasure meeting you today. Hello. Thank you for agreeing to meet with me. I'm Ms. Willis. I'm the service manager director of this Olive Garden. It is nice meeting you today, Ms. Willis. I want to thank you for your attention to detail during our preliminary online interview questionnaire. Your answers were really great. Thank you. How did you find out about this job? I found your job post on LinkedIn, which directed me to your company's website, where I sent in my resume and did the preliminary online questionnaire. That's brilliant. 
I am so glad that it was that simple for us to meet up. What do you know about our company so far? I have read about Olive Garden's dedication to excellent customer service, and I can see that it is known to be a leader in the industry. It is clear that Olive Garden prides itself in delivering the best guest experiences possible. This is so true. We do know how important a customer is, and we shower them with great service. Our top goal has always been, and it will always be, to have our customers want to come back. I want to know more about you. Please tell me, who is Mr. Scott? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to receive more like it in the future. I received my bachelor's degree in hospitality management. I am an advocate of customer service. I used to volunteer at school. When I completed school, I was fortunate to find employment immediately as a sales representative. I was promoted to the sales manager position within a year. Although the experience was great, I longed to work on the service side of hospitality. What did you do to satisfy your desires of working in service? I jumped ship and came to work as a server at a restaurant with hopes of climbing the ladder again. I was promoted and I enjoyed a five-year employment tenure with them till they closed their doors of the business. This closure put me back on the job market. I was not there long because an old friend from my previous sales job hooked me up with an interview at his company. My previous training helped me a great deal in this company. I dealt with customer complaints, and I know how important it is to be empathetic. I was also proactive and skillful in handling issues. How long have you been working with your friend? I've been there for two years. Why do you want to leave? I am still eager to learn more about the service. Your company will provide that learning and growth. What is the main reason you applied to work for our company? I saw the dedication to a core value that I share personally. Put your customers first. With this, I can see that your company has a sure success long term. I would be honored to grow with a company that focuses on the right things. Please share your strengths with me. My strengths are dedication and follow through. I stay committed during good times and bad. My dedication lasts to the very end. I won't settle for mediocre. My standards are high, and I work hard to achieve my goals at all times. I work well with others, and I always put customers first. Can you share an example of great customer service? I listen first and then answer. I give answers that best benefit the customer. I use empathy by seeing the problem through their eyes. My underlining goal is to always make sure that they are happy. Awesome! What would happen if a customer was impossible to please? I would give it my all to ensure their happiness. This would include letting someone else give it a go. Some people like to see a new face, and I know that I can only get as far as they let me. I would remind myself that we are all human and some people need time. Great. Please share your weaknesses with me. I get repetitive and it may tend to annoy others sometimes. I try to combat this by pacing what I say. I also work on it by limiting the number of times I say something. What would you like to be in five years? In five years, I'd like to be a manager who other managers look to for advice. 
I would like to be thrown out of my comfort zone too. Cross-training in the culinary area has been a long-term goal of mine. Culinary is considered a promotion, and it will come based on performance. Do you handle yourself professionally when things aren't going as planned? In most cases, I can find a way to fix issues when they arise. When something is beyond my skill level, I have been known to reach out and get the help needed to overcome the obstacle. You seem stable and easy to work with. Are there any other qualities you'd like to share? Hello, are you enjoying the story? Please give us a like. Thank you. I adapt well and make use of situations. How so? When I was out of work, I found a way to develop my skills. What did you do? I took a course online and made a friend who showed me the ins and outs of LinkedIn. I'm impressed. All right. Thank you for coming in, Mr. Scott. It was a pleasure meeting you today. It was wonderful meeting you too. You will hear from me tomorrow. Thank you. I look forward to it. Hello, this is Ms. Willis, the directing manager at the Olive Garden. Hello. Are you Mr. Scott? Yes, this is Mr. Scott speaking. I'm calling to say welcome to the team. Congratulations, Mr. Scott. You got the job. Thank you so much. I would be honored to take the job. When would you like me to start? Okay, that is the end of the job interview part. Now let's look at some essential words meanings. Questionnaire. Set of questions and answers for the purpose of a survey. I want to thank you for your attention to detail during our preliminary online interview questionnaire. Find out. To learn something. How did you find out about this job? Job post. Advertisement created by an employer. I found your job post on LinkedIn, which directed me to your company's website. Resume. A document that a job applicant creates to itemize their qualifications for a position where I sent in my resume and did the preliminary online questionnaire. Meet up. Means to meet. That's brilliant. I am so glad that it was that simple for us to meet up. Shower. To cover fully. This is so true. We do know how important a customer is, and we shower them with great service. Goal. The object of a person's efforts. Our top goal has always been, and it will always be, to have our customers want to come back. Advocate. Someone who publicly supports a cause or policy. I am an advocate of customer service. Volunteer. A person who freely offers to take part in an enterprise or task. I used to volunteer at school. Promoted. Advance or raise to a higher position or rank. Within. Inside. Within the outer bounds of either time frame or other confines.
I was promoted to the sales manager position within a year. You can practice English whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Jump ship. To leave an organization usually for a better opportunity. Climbing the ladder. Moving up rank within a particular field of business. I jumped ship and came to work as a server at a restaurant with hopes of climbing the ladder again. Job market. The market where employers search for employees. This closure put me back on the job market. Hooked up. Connect someone with someone or something else to give them a good deal. I was not there long because an old friend from my previous sales job hooked me up with an interview at his company. Proactive. Creating or controlling a situation rather than responding after it happens. I was also proactive and skillful in handling issues. Issues. Important problem or topic for debate. I was also proactive and skillful in handling issues. Empathetic. Showing an ability to understand and share the feelings of another. I dealt with customer complaints, and I know how important it is to be empathetic. Dedication. Being dedicated, committed to a task or purpose. My strengths are dedication and follow through. Mediocre. Only moderate quality, not very good. I won't settle for mediocre. Advice. Guidance or recommendation offered. In five years, I'd like to be a manager who other managers look to for advice. Immediately. Done at once. Right away. When I completed school, I was fortunate to find employment immediately as a sales representative. Skillful. Having or showing skill. I was also proactive and skillful in handling issues. Listen to the lessons repeatedly to think in English and automatic speaking. Repetition is very, very important to become fluent. You need to speak English fluently, without translating in your head. The words should come out of your mouth automatically. So, this is where the repetition comes in. If you repeat the same vocabulary and sentences many times, you will become a master of this vocabulary and grammar. So, you will be able to use that words automatically, without thinking about grammar rules, and without translating vocabulary in your head. In order to think in English, you must repeat vocabulary and sentences as much as you can. After lots of repetition, eventually you will start to think English in your head and improve your speaking skills. As I mentioned before, we use the question and answer method repeatedly in our short story lessons. So, you will listen to the vocabulary and sentences many times in the same lesson. So, you can practice English with it whenever and wherever you want. Just listen to our short stories and answer the easy question out loud. You will improve your listening and speaking skills fast. And that's all for now. See you at EnglishEasyPractice.com.